Okay, this is video two of my extremely beginner um, drawing series. Uh, so the next part that we're going to do here is uh, the firing pin. Uh, the firing pin, in my opinion, is probably one of the easier things to do by um, doing it as a um, revolve. Right? So, basically, you put in your max or your, your uh, overall length here. Okay. Um, I like doing these as a center line only because it's, it's you know, it's nice to do. The problem is, is that whenever I'm drawing something, you know, and I've got it going along and, you know, I'm doing whatever. The problem is, is that whenever I'm like, all right, this dimension here, and I drag that thing over to the left side like that, and I put in the dimension, and then bam, it shoots it over to this side. And I'm like, okay, cool. So then I have to push it back. So, you know, if there's, if there's, if anybody knows, how, you know, how to make this, you know, where it, it stays where I'm wanting it to stay, you know, I mean, it would be great, you know, if somebody could uh, let me know, like, see how it keeps shooting off to the side, um, you know, but, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of these tutorial videos, and they'll say, you know, to just make the rough sketch of it first, and I'm not really a big fan of doing that, because it, it seems that sometimes, um, you know, You'll be, you'll be chugging along, doing something, and, you know, you'll draw it real rough. And then as I go through and try to put in all the d different dimensions and parameters and things like that, and it, and it just gets all just just boggled up with stuff, and, it, and it's just really annoying. So, you know, I, I try not to just draw, like I just showed right there, just a real rough picture of it because it's, it, it doesn't, I don't know, something like this. I hate how it does that. But it just seems that, um, like, it's just something that, uh, I don't remember where I was going with that. I'll edit this and fix it. Um, if you watch these videos uh, before I edit them, uh, well, good luck. <laughs> because I, uh, I just figured out how to make a video um, tonight, actually, or, or earlier today, actually, a guy at work. Um, showed me how to do it. He was a gamer guy. And he didn't really, I mean, I guess he didn't really show me how to do it. What he was showing me was, um, you know, the different programs that he uses. You know, so he was like, this is the one that I use. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. You know, that kind of information. So um, it was just very, I thought it was very nice of him to um, show me that so that I could, you know, come home and, and mess with this because... Um, this is something that I enjoy immensely. I mean, I'm, I, you know, I have no certifications when it comes to, um, you know, in, in any, you know, Fusion 60 or, um, uh, SolidWorks, anything like that. Um, I just enjoy it immensely. I just think it's a really, it's a cool thing. Um, to be able to get in here and actually um, create, you know, this is what I meant by that. Uh, put that over there. Um, it's just, I don't know, I think it's just a, one of the coolest things ever is that this kind of program is available to um, geeks like myself who have no ability to draw. I am... Um, the worst artist you could ever possibly imagine. And when I realized that there were programs like this um, that would allow someone like myself to come in here and actually create something, it was uh, I was ecstatic because um, you know Draftsman is definitely. See, I hate how it keeps changing these. I mean, I, I don't know if it's trying to do it because you know it's making it. Uh, I don't know. It's just a pain. Um, so anyway, so here's what we got so far. Okay, we have all of our dimensions and everything like that. Um, that's the end piece. This is right there, and this is there. Okay. 
Now, there are fillets on here. Like this one, for example, is this. Uh, and as you notice, clearly, um, that's not right. It's something that was not an issue when I, the, the CAD program I cut my teeth on was called um, uh, Solid Edge. Okay. Again, this doesn't work. You know, uh, I've found a workaround with this by using the two point circle. Get out of there! No! And what you do is you come up. And you start off with the, the workaround is you take this, um, say the radius is uh, six hundredths or so, you would make it as the diameter, which is twelve hundredths. Uh, remember, you know, uh, radius, what is it? Radius what, squared is diameter? Yeah, right? Um, so you take this, you make this line tangent to there, and then you take... I believe it's whatever that just said, coincident, and you click that. And then, bam. Okay, and then what is cool is you can do this, and then, oh no, it's black, you know what I mean? But then you can, boom. And it's like, oh, neat, you know, and then you can make that a construction line if you want. Uh, I believe if you cut that, oh, you know, it actually makes it okay. So you can do it that way. Okay, you know. It just seems uh, like a lot of work um, to do something that is much easier uh, to do it like so. First, we're going to just go ahead and you revolve. And as long as you made that a center line, it's just going to go ahead and spin it. Okay, so we'll go back to that, which is right here. Okay, so it was 0 0.06, boom, and then it just makes it. <laughs> okay. So it's, it's way easier um, to just go ahead and do it that way, in, in my opinion. Um, this guy here, the diameter was around, how do you say that? 595 ten thousandths, I believe is how you say that. All right, that number. However, um, that is the diameter. We're doing the, the radius, so you want to go ahead and just divide that number by two. There you have it. You have the end of the firing pin there. Um, there's a couple more little fillets that we got to put in here. Um, this guy's round two hundredths. Um, this one, interestingly enough, the drawing that I found, it doesn't actually show this diameter. Um, and it doesn't say, um, you know, some will say, you know, radius. You know, if, if you find a if you find one that actually has the um, the notes attached to it, sometimes you'll see you know like it's a common radius or something like that. Or um, um, I forget the word that it, that they that they use, but it will have a thing that actually says on there that this is the um, the dimension that you're typically going, typically going to use. Okay, um, it doesn't actually say that which is kind of interesting. However, um, if you measure it, it is six hundredths, okay? Now, this little back part here is a little bit funny, okay? So, Because what you want to do first is actually come in here, take your circle, the two-point circle, start it here, and then just drag this guy out. Um, and what it actually is, is it's a two inch diameter or one radius circle okay and what's actually happening here is this is actually removed this this section here okay now you can do it this way all right but it's a little funny to do it that way so what i like to do is actually just go back into the drawing okay take your circle put this guy on here Shoot it out to here, type in two, draw it, okay? 
and then just cut this away that you don't need and then you'll have your line right there okay and then what you can do is actually click it pull it out over here to somewhere like that all right now it's not constrained I'm not sure why I mean I have it uh, I don't know how to do that if I do that what if I do that oh yeah that did it right see again I, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here <laughs> um, but anyway, it would be nice if this was um, black and constrained, but it's not. And then just go back into here when you do your initial um, revolve and just unclick that. And then now you'll notice that it's actually, it's a little bit more rounded. And this is where obviously the hammer. Um, Comment, would you please stop? Um, I got a puppy, guys, so it's interesting. Um, so anyway, so it's not flat, actually, where the hammer hits. But then also, it has a radius here of 0 0.06 or 6 hundredths. So this is actually what it looks like on the back. If you, if you really zoomed in on that thing, and you know, you would see that it's actually flat. Um, if any of your engineers are on here, the only thing I can think of is that uh, if it was perfectly flat, that you would probably have maybe, I don't know, some sort of hard edge or something right there, and it would probably get cracks or something. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why. You know, that's just me trying to come up with some kind of idea. Um, but it's actually round, even though when the hammer hits, the hammer is flat on that point. But, um, but anyway, so there you have it. You have the firing pin. Um, it is... Uh, steel that again, just like in the last video, um, I, I I don't know if the this actual this steel actually this steel might be in here. Um, I wish there was a a better way to do this whole steel thing. If anybody again, if anybody has any tips on how to navigate around in this program, it would be great because I do not know how to do it. Okay, so it does have this eighty six forty. Okay. And then that's the actual steel. Um, however, it is then um, chromed to what is that? Two ten thousandths um, of a uh, of hard chrome. Okay, uh, which is put on via um, it's actually electrodes, which is kind of neat. Um, it's a it's a neat process if you ever get to watch it. In fact, um, where the electrodes are attached is actually this section right here. Okay, uh, it's it's interesting how they do it. Um, it's not a very thick coating, but it makes it extremely you know rust resistant essentially. What it's what it is, um, corrosion resistance I should say. So anyway, so there you go. You have your uh, your firing pin, and just like the last video. Um, I like to save them as what they actually are for quick, quick reference if I'm looking at a repair manual or something. So um, the drawing number right there. Everything in the military is backwards. So iron pin. And again, it's saved under my YouTube instructional videos and save. And that's all she wrote. So thanks for watching.